Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest and well we've got Elementary OS Juno loaded up on a test system specifically to take a look at some of the October updates and then we'll do a quick once over in case it's your first time checking out Elementary OS or if you're on a Mac and you're looking to move to a different OS and you're not uh, interested in Windows I would highly recommend that you check out Elementary OS from the standpoint of its overall UI and design very clean and fluid and not a lot of options and things uh, you know no right click menu for example things like that but there's a lot more to elementary OS than meets the eye upon first install let's jump over here and take a look at the release notes and this is for October uh, from Cassidy James here and the biggie is side load and flat pack so now within elementary OS you do have flat pack support uh, out of the box, as well as the ability to sudo app install io.elementary.sideload. Um, so, update release here with Flatpak. So, you could go to Flathub, for example, and download your Flatpak and install right within the App Center. Also, some of the updates within uh, October include uh, up to 10 times faster in the curated apps. Um, so, and then also the other biggie is a warning, which we'll take a look at here whenever you're installing a non curated app. Another page here within the blog that's good to kind of scroll through if you're new to this OS. And I'll put links to both of these sections of the blog here because you can scroll down and find various posts from Daniel Foray as well as Cassidy James on. Um, different a aspects and philosophy of elementary OS. One of the things you'll notice here, there are no buttons for maximize, minimize, or close. Well, here on the right anyway. On the left, you'll find the close button. And here you'll find a maximize button. And it works as minimize, but not a full minimize to the dock. So from that, you would right click anywhere on this top panel and you'll find minimize, maximize, move, resize, so on and so forth. So we're going to minimize here for now. Well, just a few things to step through. First of all, you'll notice that the operation here is on this attractive dock that's set up. So if you're pinning apps to the dock, you can pretty well run and launch right here from within the dock. You've got some options within the dock. They're fairly limited. Um, one of the things about elementary is it's very clean in design and that's by design. Uh, and what I mean is you're not going to scroll through a ton of options. You've got a very simple application launcher here that could be categorized as I have it set up. Or just to scroll through, as you see here, or quick search. And it is fast as far as your search with the pop-up of the application. Your top panel is translucent and you have some dialogues to interact with here, be it volume, Wi-Fi, or your network any notifications and then power options to power off shutdown so on and so forth and then as you scroll through some of their own built-in apps you have an elementary OS designed app for media as well as photos and it's really very cohesive throughout that's one of the things that you'll find is it really feels designed with a purpose in mind if you're looking for a system just to kind of play around with and and tinker with maybe you're an experienced linux user uh, and you've never tried this i wouldn't recommend this because again you're limited on the number of settings and things um, that are in place by default unless you install the elementary tweak app and then that'll give you options for changing the icons cursor fonts animations um, setting volume and then uh, different options for a few applications such as files uh, launcher you could set up the number of rows and columns show category by default I'll turn that on you've got a few options for terminal and the built-in videos app so but again compare this to say KDE for example or even XFCE for that matter and it's very limited in options but that's part of the beauty of, of the system uh, we'll go ahead and launch into the file explorer go to home here very clean again and it's very uniform so if you go from here to photos now the photos is going to have a dark background 
<laughs> kind of doesn't prove my point about the uniform, but there's a reason behind photos having a dark background in that when you're looking at images, they show up better with a dark background. And I think you'll find the same with videos there. Uh, that will be dark. And then let's go over here to the App Center, and you'll see that's kind of a light background in keeping with the rest of the system uh, whenever you're launching something. So if we launch Calculator, you'll see that that all matches. Uh, screen Clip, kind of the same there. Uh, what else here? Settings. We'll go into Settings, and you'll see that that all looks very uniform. All right, and then we'll close that out. Um, overall, too, the elementary icons are very polished, very professional looking. Again, this looks like something almost retail. And I would say pretty much the same for their App Center. And so what you're going to find here are two categories up top. You've got Home and Installed. So from Installed, of course, is going to be a list of applications that you have installed. If you have updates, they're going to show up here as well. You'll get a notification about the updates. And in the case of the first install, I think there were 50 some odd updates um, with a fairly large update to uh, just the system itself, which took probably five to seven minutes um, in total just to install, to install that portion. But these are the curated apps. And within a lot of these apps, so we'll just go into audio, for example, you'll find options to donate or purchase this app to help support the developer and this is something that for some people was controversial I like the approach personally that elementary is taking with this system in place you've got several that are marked just free where the developers really not asking for any money at all or donations and then where others here you've, you've got some options or you can add your own uh, you could make that zero if you chose this is where if someone's doing a good job in their development and it's an application that really fits a need for you, why not donate a few bucks? Um, if you can't, if it's not within your means to do that, then you've got the option just to use the app and still also the freedom to help out that developer with donations and they make it convenient to do so. All right, and we'll move from there. A flat pack support so let's go ahead and show that and we'll minimize we'll go ahead and close this close this and let's go into downloads and here I chose to test out the um, is that finished yet yep yeah, looks like it is Manjaro KDE give you a little insight to what may be coming up soon um, so here if you were to right click this uh, LibreOffice install, you could then have the option of open in software install. And when you do that, that's going to launch the app ready for install. And this took a little longer than I expected, so uh, we'll see if this is going to pull in here. And there you go. So it's already installed, so there's no option here to click install. Uh, we could remove from here and do the uninstall. You're going to get the details, you're going to get the version information and that kind of thing about the flat pack that was downloaded from FlatHub. I highly recommend too that you're careful about where you get your flat packs. Um, you know, you, there could be, if you're not someone who's going to take the time to check uh, the information within the flat pack, there could be you know, an app designed to look like the real LibreOffice flat pack, for example, and you go in and you, you install it and it could be a nefarious app. So this is not something that you take at face value for what it is. You want to, I guess I'm just going to give a word of caution and say, you want to be careful where you get your flat packs. Um, there are some security risk there. And I'll just kind of leave it at that. There's lots of debate all around. You can find that wherever you want to find it. Uh, but the purpose here was just to show how this updated flat pack feature works within elementary OS. All right, well, that's enough for now uh, as far as a quick overview. Again, this is a, a well-known in the Linux community. If you're new to Linux, this is a well-known distro with a lot of support behind it. This is a distro that's doing some things outside of the norm um, and really was a pioneer in a lot of ways. For example, a pioneer with the app store set up 
with the donation feature and everything built in. This isn't an OS for me. I like to tweak things and tinker with things way too much. I'm not into changing settings or things like that. Now with flat pack support where you could get some of those apps that may have been hard to find other ways, this is going to continue to grow and I think continue to be a, a really well done Linux OS. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.